Hi and welcome to um, Surprise Attack. Yeah, because we Surprise. totally didn't accidentally skip the thing at the start. No, I forget to recording. He is flying in the Devastator? I am with you. And because of that, Joe is in his rear gunner. By the way, I'm Hazamaz 3000. Actually, no, I think he's... Uh, no, Joe's not the rear gunner. He's back on the boat still. Really? Alright. Yeah. I've just got a rear gunner. I shall name him Terry. Hello, Terry. By the way, I'm Hazamaz 3000. Who are you? Jammer. And who's back there? Romanian King. And who's the scrubber? Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Hold your horse. Oh, who now? back up at once. I do. Again, good song. I do. As you all know the mission, right? We're going to take out one of the enemy's carriers. According to recon planes, it's isolated and vulnerable. It's going to be dead meat. I've been itching for payback since Pearl Harbor, and here's our chance. I'm losing you. Form back, form back up. Let's not try to take it too soon. Lie low and use the islands for cover. We can use the radio signals to home in on their position. Tom will lead us in. And then the fun starts. Wait till they see what I've got cooking for them. Hold on. I have a study. So that actually is meant to happen. Because you don't like no. And you're back. Good. Good. Many, many. That looks like our strike force. The carrier group. It's gadgets. They're all yours, Frank. We need to take that carrier out. You guys, I'll concentrate on this joke. We need to live oh, you got torpedoes. What's this? Yeah. What is that then? He's doing torpedo. Oh, I hit that one in the background. You can hit the aircraft carriage straight away. We got meant to We did. Yeah. Frank, shoot down. I just have played this game too much, so I know what I can't do. Yeah. It doesn't seem as though this plane has great handling. I'll be honest. Might have done. I don't know. Oh, it moves right. It does look like that the, one has. Yeah. And it does look like this plane of yours is quite bulky, though. Yeah, it's a torpedo. Because you have been taking a lot of fire, and you've only taken a very tiny bit of damage. Joe's not here. Mm hmm. Well, because Joe, you haven't got the repair thing, your yeah. arm was boosted or something. And they just don't tell you. Two enemy vessels remaining. That's not destroyed. It takes two things to destroy these issues. Gosh, Gosh, Tom, take them out, old Frank. Right. Last one. Five minutes. Take it. We did that. And who is this fighter on? Me. So have you already taken out the aircraft carrier or something? Took it out straight away. You can dodge the first ship and hit the aircraft carrier straight away. 
sort of way of cheating. Come on, that's it easier. Because that just gets rid of an objective, right? And you just completely skip it. Yeah. Nicely done. Amen to that, brother. We're on our way. And what it means is it, it, it can launch planes while you're no, Joe, trying to blow up the other things. Mm. So if you take it out first. You can check that off. Guys, end the mission yet? Fitting in with the U.S. Mm -hmm. Army Air Forces was tricky. We've got to watch this out. Our original conditions were from the RAF, and getting that straightened out when we were transferred over was a nightmare. Besides, we've been doing all our flying over there and had to prove ourselves all over again. After we took out that carrier, though, folks' attitudes started to change. He realized that our experience flying in tight spots was a good thing. The brass started giving us the most dangerous missions because they thought we could handle them. And somehow, we always did. End of the mission. Yeah. Think there's a medal there. Did you not? Because I took too long, apparently. Apparently. Well, it was. Oh, eight seconds. That's not too bad. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of Blazing Angels. Um, yeah. See you next time. The other two have gone, so bye from them, and bye from me, and bye from him. See ya.